Halloween is one of the best holiday for makers. Forget Spirit Halloween Store, you got a 3D printer. That means your house is going from a couple of cobwebs to looking like Dracula's Airbnb. Today I'm breaking down Halloween ideas you should try from cosplay props to decorations and some tips and tricks that will help you in your Halloween 3D printing. And spook your neighbors into thinking you have way too much free time. <laughs> I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It and today we're talking all about Halloween and the really awesome things you could 3D print. Let's get into it. Let's be real, half of Halloween is just an excuse to dress up and carry around really cool giant cosplay weapons without getting weird looks. You can print swords and full-size battle axes. Use PLA Plus or PETG so they won't snap when you swing them around pretending to fight vampires. Paint them with metallics or use color shifting filament so it gleams like an enchanted blade. Print big weapon sections key and cut style so you're not walking around with a six foot sword sticking out of the back of your Prius. And my favorite, if you haven't guessed, are awesome fantasy D&D style cosplay items. Now masks are a Halloween classic. And let's be honest, the scarier the mask, the less you have to talk to people at parties. They're a far cry from the flimsy plastic masks we had when we were kids. You can make skull masks, plague doctor mask, or even pumpkin headpieces. Stick to lightweight PLA so your face doesn't feel like it's in a medieval torture device. And use elastic straps and magnets for easy wear. And the best part is you can customize any of these masks. Want to be Magneto? You can download a file off Thingiverse and customize it until your heart's desire. Decorations are where you're going to make your neighbor jealous. They bought their pumpkins at Walmart, but you printed yours. Pumpkin skulls, candy holders, bats and window silhouettes. Use silk PLA for shiny metallics, then copper pumpkins and golden skulls. Print LED ready lanterns and drop in a tea light. Bonus points if you use UV reactive filament and blast them with a black light so your yard looks like a haunted rave. Hell, you could even design your pumpkins to look just like your neighbor. You could also print a lot of miniatures and minifigures because even Halloween monsters deserve to be fun sized just like the candy bars you're gonna get. Print zombies, skeleton armies, and creepy monsters for your desk or tabletop games. Resin printers equal crazy details, perfect for mini skeleton armies. FDM printers equal bigger, chunkier figures, great for painting practice, or giant monsters. If you want more detail, use a resin printer, but FDM printers will do the trick, pun intended. Functional Halloween prints is just code for it holes candy, or you can put lights in it to light up the night. You can make candy bowls shaped like pumpkins or coffins, creepy cookie cutters, yard signs, and articulating skeleton keychains. Use Petchy for outdoor stuff so your decorations don't melt into a sad plastic puddle when it's too hot. And if you go into a party, you could bring a customized candy holder with the family's name on it. You could also make prints for trick or treats. Okay, so here's where you get legendary status in your neighborhood. Forget about handing out stale candy corn. Here's where you could hand out 3D prints, but be smart about it. For little kids, five and under, big chunky ghost tokens, pumpkin coins, or glow charms, nothing tiny. You don't want their parents calling you because little Timmy ate a plastic skeleton rib cage. Basically toys that make them forget about the other houses. For teens and adults, you can make keychains, spooky bookmarks, and detailed figurines. Maybe even creepy dye for their D&D &D night. But don't replace candy entirely. Hand the kid a plastic skull instead of a Snickers and your house is getting egged. Do kids still like houses? Here's the secret sauce. Same model, different filament equals completely different vibe. But also be smart. PLA has a relatively low melting point. Leave that cute pumpkin in the sun and congrats, you just made a Salvador Dali pumpkin. Petchy's the go-to for outdoor prints. Stronger, more heat resistant, and it won't warp into sadness when it rains. ABS is tougher stuff, but it smells like a chemical factory when printing. Great if you've got an enclosure and don't mind airing out your shop. ASA, like ABS's cooler cousin, same strength, but with better UV resistance. 
Perfect for yard signs or props you want to last a few Halloweens. And of course, special filament for an extra spooky factor. Glow in the dark PLA is perfect for bones, ghosts, and mask eyes. Silk PLA, shiny metallic pumpkins, and fancy haunted decor. Matte PLA for bones, tombstones, and gothic textures. Transparent or translucent PLA or resin. Drop in LEDs, boom, haunted lantern. Color shifting or rainbow PLA, creepy gradients that can change in the light. So whether you're printing props, mass decor, or little goodies for the trick-or-treaters, your 3D printer can basically run the entire holiday. But just remember to print smart and pick the right material. What are you printing this Halloween? Let me know in the comments below. Happy printing and happy Halloween. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.